Hey, YouTube Brando here. Uh, I wanted to do a video today on the garage sale finds that we found. I didn't find shit at garage sales, actually. Uh, it's just some stuff I picked up here and there uh, since Christmas. Uh, so it's been over about the past two months. We haven't had a lot of money to hit garage sales and stuff, so this is what I've come up with in the last couple months to go towards my preps. So. Uh, I found these right here at Walmart in the clearance bin. Uh, they're little lock blade buck knives, uh, folding pocket knives. I picked you know, uh, one each up for my kids. It was part of their Christmas, and they were on clearance, I guess, because the packs were opened. Uh, they were five bucks each. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I can remember back in the day when uh, I was a kid, <coughs> buck that was the you know top of the line. You went to Academy to get buck knife and you paid eighty, hundred dollars for a knife and back in the day eighty hundred dollars for a knife, you know, that's like spending a hundred and fifty now. So that was a good knife, you know, but I I guess uh buck they're still made in the USA, but I guess it's more of a Walmart knife now. Cause <laughs> that's where I picked them up at and it seemed like a lot of their knives were a uh, buck. Uh I buy Gerber for myself, but my kids lose shit a lot, so I don't want to spend a lot of money on theirs. The uh, second thing I picked up, I picked up from a buddy of mine, is uh, this right here, and it's old, you can tell, but it's uh, still completely operational. It's a mech, I believe a mech or a mech, uh, uh, I can't remember, 650 Junior, mech Junior, or something like that. It's a shotgun reloader, and the only thing it's missing is the uh, bottles that screw in up top. So I'm gonna have to replace those. But I looked them up, and it's you know they go for two hundred dollars used, up to three three fifty new. And I picked it up for uh, what was it, thirty bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good find. Uh, also, I don't know if uh, anybody has a Dollar Tree, but our Dollar Tree had the can heat. Uh, I do videos on them. You'll see them. Or right, you've probably seen them. The little can heat cans. Uh, they were two for a dollar. They're usually a dollar a piece, so I picked up like 20 of those, just stocked up on them, because we use them. And then this is the last thing. Uh, this was actually my kid's Christmas present. Uh, I was looking for him a good gun to actually start training with something a little bit heavier. They each have lightweight 10-shot 22 rifles, but I wanted a... Uh, they want something that's more like my AR-15s or, you know, I have a Mini-14 that's tacked out that they love. So, uh, I, this was actually on sale. The guy had it, he had it marked down to three ninety nine ninety nine. To start with, I was going to get them, I was actually going to give them my uh, AR-15 and just buy the conversion for it and then get all the tactical shit for it. By the time I added it up, uh, I was going to be spending about $1,000 on this AR-15 to make it for the kids, you know, to where they could shoot it. Do the conversion, it shoots 22s. <clears throat> so I got to doing a little bit of research and I found this one. And it is the carbine version, but it's the SD version as well. It's uh, got the Fox suppressor on it, and uh, it's got the retractable stock. But he threw that in with the tri rail. He had it marked down to 399, and it has the regular stock for it, has the regular rail for it as well. And uh, but like I said, I want to you know make it look tactical for the boys. So we're gonna buy another one, and we're gonna get the rail and the retractable stock, and then we're gonna. Uh, put some handles on it for them and some red dot sc uh, scopes and do little flashlights and stuff for them uh, kind of like my, t my AR-15 the one that I actually use is uh, it's it's you know just like my Mini-14 I have it tacked out uh, it's you know full tactical uh, then I have uh, two more Mini-14s that I'm saving for them for when they get older but I went with this one because it's heavy I mean, it's light for me, but for a kid, it's pretty heavy, so they can, yeah. Yay! So, uh, they enjoy it, but, uh, looks like I got a house full coming in, so we'll see you next time, YouTube.
sorry about that, YouTube. I forgot to uh, show you my axe, man. Uh, we've been taking down a lot of trees around here, and I had been doing it with that little camp hatchet I've showed you in other videos. Uh, we've been doing it with that, and I had been looking for an axe for a while with the cheapest axe they have at Walmart's. This axe right here, it's the True Temper. And it's a uh, fiberglass handle, and it's twenty nine ninety nine. Well, this one at Sutherland's was twenty four ninety nine, and they had it marked down like twenty five percent off right before Christmas. So I picked it up for you know ten dollars less than I would have got it at Walmart. So that, I thought that was a pretty good deal as well. All right, we'll see you. Uh, should be doing another video here soon on the on the property. We're going to be starting some projects. So uh, we'll see you when we get those videos up. Thanks for watching.